It is official. It is official. Jackson State has hired the 22nd head coach in program history, and it's none other than JSU alum, T.C. Taylor. Let's talk about it and what it means after the bump. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victory Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload just about every single day. Now, today, we're here to talk about Jackson State's newest and latest and greatest head coach that will follow Coach Prime, and that is Coach T.C. Taylor. The current wide receivers coach will take over the head coaching spot for the 2023 season, TC has been steadfast at work at JSU since he joined the staff back in 2019 before Deion Sanders and has kept this thing afloat while Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, and his guys are kind of transitioning over to Colorado. Now, they're coaching for the Celebration Bowl, but TC's kept it afloat, putting out offers, talking to recruits, getting his coaching staff together, and he will take over the reins. And... They did it in a spectacular fashion. Now, we, we've already talked about TC. We kind of pretty much knew it was going to happen. Uh, and, and on our recent live, we did that. But then the reaction that we got when TC, I mean, I'll talk about the reaction when TC came and just spoke to the team the day before. But the reaction that he got when he was named the head coach of the Jackson State Tigers, it was unbelievable. It's one thing to talk about it. I got to show you guys. We're going to go over to YouTube. Well off media, Deion Jr. Well off media. This is a uh, fair use, fair use. But this is TC Taylor being introduced to the football team as the next head coach of Jackson State. Let's take a listen. TC, TC, look at that reaction! Look at that reaction! Wow! Wow! Look at him, man. Look at the emotion. Come on, man. How can you not let that? Look at that embrace between him and after all. That was awesome. That was awesome to see. That was awesome to watch. Yeah, let's... Well, we're trying to invite to him and Brian. That was the Brian endorsed, of course. Yes! The music down a little bit. I don't want to get no copyright strike. We ain't trying to. But let's listen to what Coach TC had to say to the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most of them, man. Y'all just don't know, man. God! Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, how can you not clap it up for that, man? We're talking about a JSU alum. We're talking about a JSU record holder. Talking about a guy that's from Mississippi. I know my guy James over there at the Uncorked Podcast. He said, man, we need more Mississippians on the team. Well, how can you – you can't get more Mississippi than T.C. Taylor. You can't get more JSU than T.C. Taylor. Let's keep listening. God is good, man. Yeah. God is good, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, God. Oh, the ads. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. But anyway, uh, y'all get the gist of it. The, the One of the biggest things that he said in this, and I hope we get to play it once his ad gets through, but one of the biggest things, biggest and best things that he said during that, he said this domination ain't stopping just because certain people are walking out that door on this coaching staff. We're going to continue to dominate. We're going to continue to make things happen. We're going to continue to put together one of the best coaching staffs in the country. We're going to continue to recruit the best players in the country. We're going to continue to do the things how they've been done. Nothing is going to stop. That is what you love to hear if you're a Jackson State alum, supporter, fan, or whoever. That's what you want to hear. Now, the question is, can he make it happen? Can he make it happen? You have become spoiled being JSU fans over the last two years. You have become spoiled being JSU supporters, alumni, whoever, over the last two years while having Deion Sanders as your head coach. You have been spoiled. It just is what it is. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good luxury to get used to. Will TC be able to keep it going? The connections are already there. 
The blueprint is already there. Now, he's not Deion Sanders. Of course not. We don't expect him to be Deion Sanders. That is okay. It's a tough act to follow, but that is okay. If anybody can do it, the guy from JSU, from Mississippi, will be able to do it. And he, and he started off with a banger. First order of business. TC's an offensive coach. This offense has been one of the best in the country since Coach Prime has been at JSU. One of the best in all of FCS this past year. Led by one of the best players in all of FCS, the SWAC Offensive Player of the Year, who's now headed to Colorado, and Shador Sanders. So what does TC do? I told y'all he's been on the, on the recruiting trail the entire time. He never stopped. But the first thing he does is goes he goes out and locks up a signal caller. And guess where? Hold on, Alexa. Stop. Ooh. He goes out and locks up a signal caller, a baller, and another Mississippian. Committed. Home is where the heart is. Ready to get to work. A Juco All-American quarterback in Phillip Short, who's also from Mississippi. The Mississippi Player of the Year in 2019. So that's what Coach TC does. That's what he's able to do. Y'all, folks was, you know, certain folks, James, shout out to James, man. He's, and rightfully so. He, it was his right to feel that way. He said it wasn't enough Mississippi blood running through them JSU hallways. Well, TC going to make that change. And TC, he hopped on with our guys over at Tiger Talk 1400 Club. And he had, he had some really, really, <laughs> had some really, really good things to say. There was one thing in particular that he said, uh, one statement. Let me see if I can pull that up. That he said, hold on, hold on, hold on. That he spoke about when it came to recruiting. Hold on, when it came to. He talked about the focus of the team. Hold on, hold on. I need to find where he said that. I should have marked it down. Yeah, man. He, he, TC was a big time. Uh, TC so far has won the press conference. He's won the hiring. I think TC could be really, really good for JSU. But it boasts the question because a couple of callers posed this, and I just want to get your thoughts in the comments. Should JSU have went outside, outside the house? A.D. Robinson, I didn't play the lead up because I didn't want to play too much of their video. I didn't play the lead up to hiring TC. But one thing he said is it's good to keep things in house and to stay in house. But some folks will say that's part of the problem with the swag is that they, they kind of go to swag. I actually had a caller on my show call in and say that. And I'm just curious, how does the audience feel? How do you all feel about being too swag? Is there such a thing as being too swag? Should sometimes you should hire, should you hire outside the house? You hired outside the house and it got it landed your coach prime. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> it's pretty damn good hire outside the house. Should you do more of that? Or should you continue to keep traditions and hire people who are affiliated with the school, have some sort of affiliation with the school? Or is TC a special case? Is he a special case because of the fact that he is affiliated with the school? He happens to be an alum of the school and on the current coaching staff, but he also had that luxury of being up under Deion Sanders and seeing the way how someone from outside the SWAC walls were able to run things and able to make things go and able to do some of the things that may be considered non-traditional, maybe rub some people the wrong way, but he did it and he had a lot of success with it. Two SWAC championships, two appearances in a celebration bowl, two-time two SWAC uh, Offensive Player of the Year. A guy get drafted. Another guy, a swag defensive player of the year. The best defense in all of SCS the last two years. It's, it's going to be interesting. I love everything about, I mean, I, I don't mind either way. I, I think you could, you could be right whichever way, whichever position you stand on. Only time will be able to tell. Hit that thumbs up button, by the way. Only time will be able to tell, but I will say this. If TC is able to continue that recruiting, because TC sounds pretty confident that high-level recruits still want to choose JSU. TC sounds pretty confident that high-level coaches still want to choose JSU and coach there. TC sounds pretty confident that this train 
It's going to keep on rolling. Yeah. He said pretty confident that this thing is going to keep on rolling. And I love everything about it. Now, there's a guy down in Tallahassee, Florida, that coaches a team called the Rattlers. He might have something to say about that. There's another guy hanging out in Baton Rouge that you beat up on a few times over the last two years. He might have something to say about that if he gets the right quarterback, chooses the right quarterback, or at least plays the right quarterback. There's also a guy in Grambling, another one in Houston, another one in Prairie View, and a couple of more all across the SWAC that will think that it's their time to step up to the throne. But for today, we celebrate the hiring of T.C. Taylor at Jackson State. And it was a beautiful thing to see. My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victory Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube and Facebook. Hit that thumbs up button if you want to follow me. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlightsey7. Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can for the Facebook family, it's Jeff Lightsey Sports on Facebook. Jeff Lightsey Sports on Facebook. And for YouTube, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button before you get out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. And if you want to support the channel or anything, just shoot me a message over on my Instagram or Twitter. Shoot me a message if you want to do anything, collab or whatever. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Peace.